Hi, Iowa. It was another busy week, fighting for you. We introduced bipartisan legislation to cut bureaucratic red tape for Main Street businesses, passed critical legislation to protect your privacy and America's national security, and finally introduced bipartisan legislation to keep siblings together when they're going through the adoptive process. So let's get started on this week's sit rep. First, small businesses are the backbone of Iowa's economy. Main Street businesses in Iowa employ nearly half of all workers in our state. These businesses are drowning in bureaucratic red tape, making it harder every single day for these businesses to turn the key in the door. It's even harder for a business to comply with reporting requirements when they haven't even been informed by the federal government. Earlier this year, new reporting requirements for businesses were rolled out without any notification. Now, those businesses are being penalized for not complying with standards that they weren't even aware of. That's why I introduced the Bipartisan Small Business Red Tape Relief Act to hold DC bureaucrats accountable for educating and informing small businesses of their requirements. This will reduce the burden on Iowa's Main Street businesses so they can get back to doing what they do best, helping drive our local economy. Second, our nation is at a dangerous precipice with evolving cyber, physical, and other threats coming from China, Russia, and Iran. America's capability to collect intelligence, respond to these threats, and protect our country has never been more important or complex. There's a program called FISA that serves as a critical tool for keeping Americans safe. Unfortunately, it has been abused by bureaucrats of the Department of Justice and desperately needs reform. That's why we passed bipartisan legislation to improve this program, including 56 key provisions that provide oversight and strengthen accountability for DC bureaucrats. These reforms will help protect America's Fourth Amendment rights and prevent the abuse of this critical program. With these improvements, we will be able to keep our nation safe and provide swift, aggressive, and decisive action against adversaries who pose a direct threat to our nation's security. Finally, friends, it's been just over a year since we adopted our two youngest daughters. Jaina and Aaliyah are sisters. When Kelly and I received that call asking if we could foster and ultimately led to their adoption, these two little girls were important to each other and keeping them together was essential. When placed together, siblings are provided with a sense of stability that provides a positive impact on their transition as well as their long-term health and well-being. Unfortunately, adoption fees are expensive when you're adopting just one child and that raises quickly when you adopt one or more kids at the same time. These costs can be prohibited to families looking to adopt siblings, brothers and sisters, and sometimes it forces the unintentional separation of those kids. That's why this week, I was proud to introduce the bipartisan Fight for Siblings Act to double the federal tax adoption credit for families to adopt two or more siblings in the same fiscal year. This is a common sense solution that will help more kids stay together and find their forever home. Iowa, it is always an honor and a privilege to get to fight for you and continue our mission to bring Iowa common sense to Congress. I'll see you around soon.